Shinta here with SS Multimedia, and today we're going to be learning how to find the perimeter of common shapes. Our objective is to understand how to find the perimeter of a common shape. Well, what does that mean? So the perimeter is basically the outside. So we know that the area would be all of this, the inside. But sometimes we're going to need to find the outside of this. So well, how do we do that? For certain shapes, there's certain ways to figure it out. So since this is a square, we know that all the sides are the same, like it says right here. A square's side lengths are always the same. So since we know that one side length is 6, we also know that there's 1, 2, 3, 4 side lengths. That means we have to do 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 since there's 4 side lengths that are 6 centimeters long. So then we add those up together, 6 plus 6 is 12, and then 6 plus 6 is again 12, 12 plus 12 is 24. So we know that our perimeter is 24 centimeters. So that's how we find the perimeter of the square. A rectangle always has two different side lengths. A square only has one different side length, which we saw up here, all of them were 6. The rectangle has two. So we know that there's one right here, 15 inches, we know that there's another that's 7 inches. So how do we figure this out? Well, so we know that they only gave us two side lengths here. There's only two different ones. There can't be three of the same side lengths. So they can't be like, this can't be 15, this can't be 15. So what happens is that these two sides, the ones right across from each other, are going to be the same, like that, these two. So what we're going to do is, since there's going to be two sides of 7 inches, we can do 7 plus 7. And then since there's going to be two sides of 15, we can do 15 plus 15 to find our perimeter. 7 plus 7 is 14, and 15 plus 15 is 30, and 14 plus 30 is 44. So our perimeter would be 44 inches. It's important to always put the units right here because if you just say 44, we don't know. if It's 44 meters, 44 miles, so always make sure to write that down. And then finally, we have equilateral triangles. So what's an equilateral triangle? An equilateral triangle is when all the sides are the same length. So like they all have the same amount of degrees right here, and they all have the same side length. So this would be 9 centimeters, this would be 9 centimeters, this would also be 9 centimeters, as it says right here. An equilateral triangle's side lengths are all the same. So since it gave us that one side length is 9, we know that every single side length is 9. So we can do 9 plus 9 plus 9. Well, if you didn't catch it, it's a triangle. So tri means 3. So that means there's only 3 sides, unlike the rectangle and square, which have 4 sides. So 9 plus 9 is 18. 18 plus 9 is 27. So we know that our perimeter is 27 meters. Remember, this one says meters here. The last one was inches, and the one before was centimeters. So you always have to keep an eye out for that. Now it's problem time. Feel free to pause this video and make sure to try these on your own. Now that you're back, let's try these. I'll show you how to do them if you couldn't get them. This one's a square right here. Remembering what we learned earlier, we know that all the squared side, length, side lengths are the same. So since one of them is 9, we know that all of them are 9. So it would be 9 plus 9 plus 9. So 9 plus 9 plus 9. 9 plus 9 is 18, and 9 plus 9 again is 18. 18 plus 18 is 36. But what's the units? Well, we can check up here, and we see that they're inches. So it would be 36 inches. That's how big our perimeter is. Our next one is an equilateral triangle. Remembering the equilateral triangle is similar to a square, we know that all the side lengths are they're equal. So since we know that they're all equal, we would do 3 plus 3 plus 3. Well, 3 plus 3 plus 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. So we know that our perimeter is 9. But what's the units? Well, we always have to check right next to the number. Even if it doesn't say anything, if it's just 3, you can always make sure to write units like this. But since it gives us it right here, we can write 9m, which is 9 meters. 
which is what our parameter is. And now we have the rectangle. Remember, the rectangle only has two different side lengths, so we know that th this one and this one are the same, and this one and this one is the same. So I'm going to do two marks to show that these two are the same and that one's the same. So we know that there's two threes, so it'd be three plus three plus six plus six. Three plus three is six, six plus six is twelve. Twelve plus six, uh, six plus twelve is eighteen. And since it's mm, which is millimeters, we know that our perimeter is 18 millimeters. So let's move on to our next problem now. So here we have another square again. This one is 8 feet. So since there's four sides and we know that each side is the same, we can do 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 plus 16 is 32. So our perimeter would be 32 feet since this one is in feet. So that's our perimeter. And again, we have a triangle. This one's also an equilateral triangle, so all the sides are going to be the same. So since one side is 4, we know that this one's 4 and that one's 4. So we can do 4 plus 4 plus 4. 4 plus 4 is 8 and 8 plus 4 is 12. And since this is in inches, it would be 12 inches. 12 inches is our perimeter. And then we have a rectangle right here. This one is 7 by 8, so since we know that there's only two side lengths again, we know that this one and this one are the same, and that this one and this one are the same. So we can do 7 plus 7 plus 8 plus 8. 7 plus 7 is 14, and 8 plus 8 is 16. 14 plus 16 equals 30, and since it's in feet, we know that it's 30 feet, which is our perimeter. Now, let's uh, move on to some word problems. I'm planning to place a fence around my backyard. My backyard is 20 feet long and 10 feet wide. What is the perimeter of my backyard? And this is in feet, since it's 20 feet and 10 feet. So let's draw this out. So we have our backyard here. And we know that it's 20 feet long, and since this is the length, and we know that it's 10 feet why? So we know it looks something like that. So it's like the rectangles back here, back here, like this one. So since we know that these ones are the same, like I showed earlier, we know that these ones are the same, we can say that it's 20 plus 20 plus 10 plus 10. So what's that? 20 plus 20 is 40, and 10 plus 10 is 20. 40 plus 20 is 60, and since it's in feet, we know it's 60 feet. That's the perimeter of the backyard. Let's move on to our next word problem. My carpet is 10 feet long and 10 feet wide. I want to buy a rug that's 5 feet long and 5 feet wide. What is the perimeter of my carpet? So this word problem kind of throws you off. So it's saying my carpet is 10 feet long and 10 feet wide. But then it's including something completely unrelated saying that you want to buy a rug or something. So we don't need that sentence, so we can just cross it out. It's not beneficial and doesn't tell us anything. So we are talking about the carpet. So we know that this carpet is like a square because it's 10 feet long, like this, and it's also 10 feet wide. So since they're all the side lengths are going to be 10, we can just do 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. So if we add all of that up together, we get 40. And since it's in feet, we just do add the FT, which just stands for feet. I hope you understand this lesson. Hopefully you can figure out how to find perimeter on your own now. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to turn on the notification bell for our next video.